Krishna clearly says that in the future also the individuality of the Lord and others, as it is confirmed in the Upanishads, will continue eternally. This statement of Krishna is authoritative. Yes, Upanishad says, Nitta Nityana. Now, Nitta means eternal. And the Supreme Lord is the Supreme Eternal. And we, individual souls, we are also uh, many eternal. So he is the leader eternal. Eka bhuna, how he is leader? Eka bhunam vidhati kaman, that one singular number eternal person, he is supplying all the needs of other eternal. These things are clear here. Said in the Veda. And actually, we are experiencing, uh, just like uh, in Christian theology, the individual goes to the church and prays God, uh, give us our daily bread. Why? He is asking God. Of course, this ethics class of men are now teaching them, uh, where is bread you are going to church? You come to us, we shall supply you bread. So, this uh, Vedic thought is there also. The Veda says, eka bhunam vidudhati kama. That Supreme One, eternal, is supplying, is maintaining all other individuals, eternal. And uh, Bible also uh, enjoins that you go ask for your bread to God. Unless God is maintainer and supplier, why this injunction is there? Therefore he is the leader, he is the maintainer. And the Veda clearly says, this is the position, he is the supreme. And by knowing this, one can become in peace. That is the Vedic injunction. This statement of Krishna is authoritative because Krishna cannot be subject to illusion. If individuality... Yes. If the Mahamadi philosopher says that this statement of Krishna is in Maya, that he says that everyone was individual in the past, no, in the past everyone was one, lump sum, homogeneous, and by uh, Maya, we have got, we have become individual. If the Mahamadi says like that, then Krishna becomes uh, one of the hmm, uh, conditioned soul. He, he does not, he loses his authority. Because conditioned soul cannot give you the truth. Uh, I am conditioned soul. I cannot say something which is absolute. So Krishna is accepted as the absolute. So if the Mayavadi theory is accepted, then Krishna's theory has to be rejected. If Krishna is rejected, then there is no need of reading Krishna's book, Bhagavad Gita. It is useless, waste of time. If is a conditioned soul like us, because we cannot take any instruction from a conditioned soul. So the spiritual master, he, even if he takes that he is conditioned soul, but he does not speak anything from his own side. He speaks from Krishna's side. So, uh, unless the Vedic principle is that unless one is not liberated, from the material condition. He cannot give us any perfect knowledge. The conditioned soul, however he may be academically advanced, educated, he cannot give us any perfect knowledge. Only 
one who is above the condition of this material loss, he can give us the perfect knowledge. Similarly, Sankaracharya, he is also impersonalist, but he accepts Krishna, the supreme authority. So Bhagavan, Sam Krishna, uh, Krishna is that supreme personality of God. The modern Mayavadi philosopher, they do not disclose this statement of Sankaracharya to cheat people. But Sankaracharya's statement is there. We can give evidence. He accepts Krishna as the supreme authority. He has written so many nice poems praising or worshipping Krishna. And at the last time he says, Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, Muromate. You rascal fools. Oh. You have, uh, depending on grammar to understand, this is all nonsense. Bhaja Govindam. Just worship Govindam. Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam. Three times he says. Just worship Govindam. Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says three times, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama. Three times means giving too much stress. Just like we sometimes say, do this, do this, do this. That means no more Finish. All stress. So as soon as one thing is three times stress, that means final. So Sankaracharya says, Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, Murahamate. Murha, 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 I several times explained, Murha means that's class. You are depending on your grammatical understanding. Do king karane. Do king. This, this, uh, these are grammatical affix and prefix. Pratta, prakaram. So you are depending on this verbal root, that verbal root, and uh, creating, interpreting your meaning in a different way, all this nothing is nonsense. But this duking karnane, your grammatical jugglery of words will not save you at the time of death. You rascal, you just worship Govinda, Govinda, Govinda. That is the instruction of Sankaracharya. Because you are the devotee, you are the great devotee. But he uh, pretended to be a, an atheist because he was to deal with the atheist. Unless he presents himself as an atheist, the atheist followers will not hear him. Therefore he presented Mahabharata philosophy for the time being. The Mahabharata philosophy cannot be accepted eternally. The eternal philosophy is Bhagavad Gita. That is the body. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama.